Before astronauts could land on the moon, NASA had to prove it had a vehicle to take them there. Apollo 9 would be that test, putting the lunar module through its paces in Earth orbit. The lightweight lunar module was the first vehicle designed to operate only in the vacuum of space, with no heat shield like all previous human spacecraft. Astronauts James McDivitt, Dave Scott, and Rusty Schweiker launched on March 3, 1969. Liftoff. We have liftoff. The crew labeled their leggy lunar module Spider and dubbed the Apollo command module Gumdrop. During the 10-day mission, the crew docked and undocked their spacecraft and test-fired their engines to simulate the journey to the moon's surface. McDivitt and Schweikert flew the Apollo lunar module, while Scott remained inside the command module. The astronauts also tested the backpacks that would serve as portable life support systems for astronauts on the lunar surface. During a pivotal spacewalk, Schweikert climbed out on the lunar module's front platform, while Scott observed from the open hatch of the nearby command module. Apollo 9 splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean on March 13, 1969. McDivitt, Schweikert, and Scott, then Gumdrop and Spider, set the stage for the final dress rehearsal for landing on the moon. <laughs> <laughs>